again, the product developer of the popular BioBlaster ozone generators. And I'm here to demonstrate today our new horizontal vertical ozone tornado. Folks, this is an amazing power-packed contractor-grade ozone generator. But before I get into describing that, I want to tell you a little bit about how we got to where we are today. So when I started making ozone generators 13 years ago, I'd been a user, a contractor grade user of ozone generators for many more years. And I bought, and my men broke every brand of ozone generator on the market. And when we got into it, and still today, 95% of all ozone generators are made like this. It's two bent pieces of steel or aluminum, bent into a U shape with a grate on either end, and a small computer type fan inside. And inside that computer fan is one of these. This is a piece of borosilicate glass with stainless steel mesh glued on both sides. Sometimes they use ceramic. And as the fan blows across this stainless steel, there are high voltage contacts coming from a transformer that change the O2 in the air to O3. And as a two-dimensional piece of a plate, it really doesn't have a lot of surface area. But this is still how 95% of the Chinese and American-made ozone generators are made today. This one's called an odor stop. It could be an odor free. These are all built in China for an American company. And, and they're an okay uh, little ozone generator. This is an American-made version that's almost identical. It's a rainbow air. And this has the two U-shaped bent pieces of steel or aluminum. It's got the grate. It's got a little filter, which makes it a little nicer than the, the Chinese one. But it still uses the same two-dimensional borosilicate glass or, or ceramic with a little computer fan. And you can see that this matches up perfectly to that filter for this computer fan. Now, I keep talking about computer fans, and there's a reason why. Ozone is heavier than air. But even pure oxygen, which is O2, is heavier than air. O3, ozone, is much heavier than air. Meaning that as the ozone comes out of the box, it drops right to the floor unless it's otherwise acted upon. And so with these tiny little machines, it's really hard to get the ozone to high levels in a room or in an area. And the reason is the weight of the ozone causes it to naturally settle down. So when I first got into the ozone business, uh, a year or two before, there was a new type of way to make ozone developed uh, right here in Ohio by a gentleman who figured if I could take that stainless steel mesh, which is what this is, and bend it into an ellipse, I can get a lot more surface area than I get out of a little two-dimensional card, and I can use that to cheat and get a little bit more ozone. So that's exactly what he did. He made these stacks where he slid, slid these pieces of ellipses of stainless in between pieces of flexible thin mica used as a dielectric. The problem with this mica is that it is extruded in flakes with a resin and it has a low melting point. So with this type of a machine, what will happen is eventually the mica will burn through and it shorts out the entire machine. So you have to constantly be buying new packs. That's uh, still used at a company uh, called Max Blaster today. Now theirs didn't have sides on it. So my very first improvement to the Max Blaster type of technology was what I call the development of my ozone tunnel and the replacement of the computer fan with a heavy duty, serious blower. This is a spa blower. So what we did is we took Instead of using one transformer like a Max Blaster, we added a second one. We put sides on our generator packs. We put focused ends on them. And so when it would connect up, we called this the ozone tunnel, one of my first ever patents pending, which allowed the air being generated by the spa blower to not get blocked by the transformer. In the Max Blaster and other ones, oftentimes the transformers put right in the way of the fan blocking the ability of air to get across those ozone cells. So with this tunnel technology, we were able to directly shoot the ozone, bypassing the transformers, and it made a lot of ozone. This is about, a, I think, a 21 or 20 
2,000 milligram per hour machine. It was a, a feature of our toolbox ozone generators for years. And this machine will actually still fire up if I connect electricity to it. We went away from that, though, because a new technology was developed. This is called nickel titanium. So we replaced that long, hunky cell with a much smaller one, which features these nickel titanium plates. And these were really high temperature ceramic cards with this nickel titanium. And in a small little pack like this, instead of that honking one, we were able to get 28,000 milligrams of hour. It still had the, the focused air going from the blower and shooting it out of the box so we could get really deep penetration into a room. The problem is, when high voltage is applied to the nickel titanium, you can start to see it happening on these older uh, plates. It erodes, it's called a sacrificial electrode, so it sacrifices the metal and it burns up over time. This is under ideal conditions rated for about 3,000 hours. In real life, you'd get maybe 1,000 to 2,000, depending on the humidity conditions you ran them. And, but it still was a, a, a core feature of our ozone generators for years and years. And then there was a different problem that presented itself. The spa blower company that we used made in America. They still make these plastic housings in America, but they switched the inside, the guts, from an American-made blower to Chinese. And unfortunately, the Chinese blowers just couldn't hang. Instead of lasting for years in service, they started to go bad in months. And that just wouldn't work for me. So we replaced the spa blower with a really high output sealed ball bearing blower. This is a 90,000 hour sealed ball bearing blower. It moves a whopping 400 cubic feet of air a minute, making it you know, five to six times the standard computer fan that's still used in other companies' ozone generators today. And this became the core in our Sterling XT Pro Cannon. We, still, we have thousands of these machines around the world today, and they're still sought after awesome, rugged workhorse tools. 400 CFM is still a little on the low side, but it's still a great machine for horizontal applications when you're dealing with pet owners or other uh, ozone applications where you want to shoot low. It's a great machine. But then there are other applications where you really want to get that ozone high into the air. So we developed the vertical tornado. This machine works on a different principle. It shoots the ozone up into the air, then because it's heavier, it falls down, it gets drawn back into the bottom, and shot up again. So if you take an ozone meter, when you're using a horizontal machine like this one, you'll find a different part per million rating at every level of the room. And folks, parts per million is all that matters in an ozone treatment. But you cannot rate an ozone generator in parts per million because it's a volume dependent measurement. When you take the ozone generator and put it in a, an aquarium, you're going to get really high levels of ozone. Put it into a stadium, you won't even register it on a meter. So it's a volume dependent rating. So the only thing we can really rate the machine in is milligrams per hour. And we switched from the nickel titanium to an electrified basalt. This is a printed volcanic glass on the surface. It's printed at over 3000 degrees. It's a really high temperature and it's capable of handling the high voltage discharge that comes from an ozone generator. And this is a high quality, short proof transformer that if there's ever a crack or a flaw, it'll immediately shut off. So it eliminates all possibilities of fire. Now, we've also discovered that the transformer manufacturers are all capable of making a transformer identical to this on the outside. That's why we've tested over 70 different transformer manufacturers transformers to secure the one that we've relied on for years and years and years. It's a true 5,000 hour rated uh, transformer and plate. It's easy to replace if there's ever a problem, but unfortunately, they're not all made the same. We, as we test these other transformers, we take them apart. Some of the capacitors look like firecrackers. They're just not all made identically, even though they look the same on the outside. 
So a lot of times our competitors will say, we're using the same kind of generator plate. And folks, it's just not true. So there's another problem with the horizontal and vertical models. They're awesome tools. They complete out any ozone generator kit for contractors looking to do real world work with ozone. But you need a different machine for each application, horizontal or vertical. You got pet odors, you want to shoot low. You're trying to do general sanitizing, you want to fill a space with an even part per million of ozone to kill the viruses, the bacteria, the mold spores. When you're destroying odors, like cigarettes or curries, you've got to shoot high because that stuff accumulates on the upper walls and ceilings. So we finally took our applied patent, our issued positive pressurizing machine patent, and we turned it into a new patent pending, which is our multi-position vertical horizontal ozone tornado. Folks, this combines the best of both the worlds. It features a industry best waterproof sealed ball bearing 90,000 hour blower motor with aluminum fins so they're never going to disintegrate and it will operate and generate 1850 CFM while up to 80,000 milligrams of ozone is shot out the end. because you can only use these rugged, bad boy, contractor grade ozone generators in unoccupied spaces. That means no people, no plants, and no pets. What's better, if you have an application where you need ozone to get up to the ceiling of a 25 foot great room, or if you're doing general sanitizing and you don't want to have that striated level of ozone at every elevation in the structure, you set it in vertical mode like a rocket ship. You turn it on, and once again, we're creating prevents dust from going in, which keeps you from having to do service all the time. And it is lightweight, easy to carry, but super durable. You could drop this from a step ladder and it won't hurt it and it'll fire right up tomorrow. If you are in need of a true contractor grade, multi-versatile, eliminate two machines with one type ozone generator, if you're trying to kill viruses, bacteria, mold spores, bugs, or other pests, or destroy odors completely at the molecular level, you owe it to yourself, your family, or your business to invest in the new horizontal and vertical tornado covered by our positive pressurizing patent and our patent pending multi-position ozone generator patent, only from the home of the bioblaster. Don't take my word for it. Invest in one for your business, buy one for it, and prove it to yourself. And as always, they come with our industry best bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. Push, pull, drop it in battery acid, drag it in, drop it off the Empire State Building, uh, scrape it up and put it into a box, send it back to us for up to a year, we'll send you a like new or working machine, and that can be renewed forever, turning it into an undead ozone zombie, which is what all of our smart contractors do. And if not, it comes with an industry-leading five-year manufacturer's defect warranty. So if we make a mistake when we build it, it's on us, not you. Bye, one day.